Hi folks, how's it going? The name's Deffy and welcome to another episode of Sly 2 Benefit for the PS2. We got a new... Demetria. So, uh, we got a new set of jobs to do. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing in this episode if possible. So, uh, before we start actually... Before we start, there's a couple of things we need to do with Sly. And we might as well do one of Sly's jobs. And the slowdown is still as glorious as ever, but you do. So, um, I hope everyone's doing fine today. Uh, myself, you doing alright? Doing alright. So, what we're going to do first, except for the uh, slowdown, obviously, is uh, we're going to collect the rest of the art pieces now, which we can, um, which we can do now. So... The first one I do know is over by the nightclub. The uh the place the music basically. So we're gonna head over there. So the thing about the art pieces is you have to do the same which we did with the um thing with the picture. Come on, slide please. Um and you take it back to the safe house, so it's just as easy as that. Um I shall pick this guy's pocket while we're at it, shit. Oop! Duh. Stinking rat. Now hurry up before anyone else comes. We good? There we go. That's close. I still don't know what's up with the um I still don't know what's up with the uh the emulator settings, I do apologize. Oh god, go up there. Oh Oh fucking hell, are you joking me? And it's two flashlight guards as well. Uh, yeah, this is why you don't want to mess around with flashlight guys, but let's do our new knockout dive. Take him out. Come on, attack him. Oh, fucking hell, I get shot to bits here. Again, the slowdown, there's nothing I can do about it. No, wrong target. Am I really gonna die? I am, aren't I? What a way to start the video. I've seen worse. Well, the love hate relationships with emulators, I'll tell you that now. Right, so I do know that one of the, um, the art pieces is right here. You can tell because it's in a, uh, a gold aura thing. If you can get this piece of fine art back to the safe house in one piece, So basically it means you don't take any damage. Which is appropriate because we're literally one sliver away from dying. So this should be fun, right? I can't fucking believe that. I really can't believe that. So um yeah, there's uh there's always three pieces of art in a level. And uh because one of the first one of the ones in this level is scripted. There's technically two we need to collect. But you want to collect these because they give you a good chunk of coins to put towards uh, the gadgets which we can buy and we're going to buy a couple of them. So all you do is just run in and get it. It's a shame that you can only do it one at a time. Um, but if you can collect these anytime you want really. And it's not just Sly that can collect them, so can Murray and Bentley. However, most of the pieces are in a place where only Sly can get them, so it only makes sense, you know? Alright, so the last piece is um, where we got clue number 30 in uh, part 2. No, four parts in, eh? Doing alright? Doing okay so far? So yeah, it's just over here. So, um, I'm trying to think what job I want to do first, because there's um, two jobs with Sly. And there's one job with Murray. Well, but no. We get a uh, Bentley's first job once we don't want to do one of the sly ones. Uh, if I were to say who my favourite character to play as in this game, um, it's kind of a mixture of all three actually. I do like to play as all three, but if we're talking about easiness of jobs, 
don't know, who has the... I would say probably Murray has the easiest jobs, actually. Just because Murray's more combat focused. So it's just easier and straightforward and you know what you're doing. With Sly and Bur uh, Burry? <laughs> With Sly and Bentley, it's more, um, more tactical, you know? Sometimes it's stealth based, like you can get caught, and other times it's mini games with Bentley. The funny thing. Alright, so we just need to uh, buy the other guys. Oh, I buy Smoke Bomb, didn't I? Oh, I did. Guess I didn't. Alright, so we'll get Trigger Bob, and we just need 90 more coins for. We need 90 more coins for. Um... Murray's. Ugh, not worth it today. <laughs> Alright. Well, if that's the case then, we might as well show Smoke Bomb off. So, Smoke Bomb's a very, very useful gadget. In fact, I dare say it's actually one of the best in the game. And for two reasons. One, let's get into combat here. So, we drop down, get caught, and get shot at. Very simple, right? But we drop a Smoke Bomb, and immediately the guard doesn't know where we are. We lost track of him. If I can get behind this cheesecake fucking thing. So that's the defensive way. The proper way of doing it, in my opinion, is doing it like this. So you go in, get hit, yeah, whatever. But you pop a smoke bomb, and you can do a stealth takedown. Just powerful, really, really good. It costs a lot in terms of the uh, the gadget meter, but for the most part, solid. All right, so we're gonna go do slice. Um, Pickpocketing job, I think. Pickpocketing job. That's what I'm doing now, but in this level, it's um, this is when it gets introduced. So if I remember, it's just up here, right? Yep. Bit of pickpocketing. Uh, we also have um, silence the alarms. That's Maurice, and we have one over here, which is um, Moonlight Rendezvous. Rendezvous. I was gonna say Rendezvous then. I don't know what's going with that. So yeah, we'll do the pickpocketing one first. Pretty fun one actually. And actually, the first of a lot of pickpocketing jobs. And they get more ludicrous as the game goes on. Especially when it has a certain condition where you can't take the guards out. You cannot beat any of the guards up until you pickpocketed what they have. Anyway, let's have a bit of a laugh and let's see what it's all about. Also, I fixed a little thing of mine as well. Okay, Slime. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. To pickpocket guards, sneak up behind them and press the circle button. Alright, pardon me. So yeah, so we have to pickpocket six keys so we can get on top of the chandelier to um, hijack the turrets. Now, the thing is about this, all the guards are... So, all the guards are the flashlight guards. And, uh, you can't beat them. You can't take them out. Now, you can take the guards out once you picked up their keys, but where's the fun in that? We'll have a little challenge. We're gonna pickpocket all the keys if we can, actually. We're gonna pickpocket them all of them without getting caught, if possible. So, this should be fun. And don't get too close because you can actually nudge into them. Check one, check two, solid. Dimitri on the mic with a shout out to all my nightclub samurai. Stand tall and feel beautiful. I hear there's some raccoon dude giving a static. If you all spot this cracker box, bam! Make him unhappy. Take no prisoners. Go hardcore. Extreme all over his face. Okay, peace out. <laughs> I love that little ending bit. He's <laughs> just extreme. Bam, all over his face. Oh god, this is a kid's game to me, please! 
Oh god, I'm telling you. Mental, 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 mental. So yeah, so there's another guard up here. So yeah, they're pretty much split into um, four different areas of the place, really. No. And no, don't worry. But it's Garam. Now, we have to watch this bit, actually, because this is a bit of a tricky bit. So there's a guard over that way, so guard behind. Um, just over there. Okay, cool. Alright. Okay, and then we could probably just slip into here. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we lost him quickly enough. Yeah, see, uh, I thought maybe we could do that without getting caught. It's fine. Oh, that's one. Go. Cool. Nice work, Sly. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fan. So yeah, it's just up here. That's this guy now. The old hide under the table technique. I'm pretty sure he uh, he learned that from um, who is he called? Under the table, Matt Cooper. I think he was called. <laughs> um, previous raccoon is entry number two hundred ninety-seven, I think. Paragraph six. Looks like the fans have stopped. Under the table, Cooper. What the fuck? <laughs> I just love the way Bentley says, Blies <laughs> uh, I'm trying to keep my voice kind of normal because um, I just managed to regulate the uh, microphone gain settings. I've actually um, added a couple of extra things I don't normally add just to make it a bit better. Alright, so that's that job done. So yeah, so the whole point of doing that was to destroy a couple of power boxes which led to the generator, the security around the printing press thing with the clock with feathers. What was stopping Sly from coming up here and just ripping those boxes off? Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, so one last thing before I show you. Before I show you. Last thing before we get out of here not really a glitch or anything but it's just an amusing thing so we come up here we can actually jump all the way over here <laughs> we're behind the wall so yeah so really you could spook this guy if you want now it is possible, but I can't remember. But you can actually hit this guy on the other side of the wall, I think. But I think you need a certain gadget, but I can't think which one it is. Um, what I used to do was... Oh, fuck. Okay, I was not expecting that shit. <laughs> Look before you leap. I'll tell you that now. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was stupid, wasn't it? That really fucking was stupid. Ugh, oh, I've got to go this way. So, um... I lost my train of thought now because of that stupid fucking thing. Um, yeah. I used to, um, every time I played this game, what I used to do was, I used to do a episode skip, um, cheat code to get to the last one because, um, what happens is, once you get to the last episode, um, all the gadgets are available. So, you know, you can just buy certain ones to make the rest of the game easier, to some degree. You can pickpocket all the guards around the nightclub. Try to find guys carrying shiny loot in their back pockets. We can pawn the good stuff for a lot of coins back here at the safe house. Yeah, that's when you find out that you can pickpocket guards outside and get loot and stuff so 
really, as a real thumb, I would say just pick any pockets you come across, but remember to get the ones with the shiny bat pockets. Or the shiny bot pods. Bot pods? Shiny bots. <laughs> bot pads is what I meant to say. Just spread the cheats and get the gold inside. Ugh. What the fuck did I say that? Anyway, moving on. Right, well, we might as well do slides of a job while I'm here. Because I was actually going to go switch to... Um, ah, here we go. Yeah, for example. Shiny pocket. So, yeah, I was going to switch to... Um, Murray. But I might as well do all slice jobs. Right, so... Moonlight rendezvous? Yeah, Moonlight rendezvous. Okay, let's see what this rendezvous is all about, eh? Hold it, Koopa. Constable Mila. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. <laughs> Sly, hold down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Neela. So, yeah. A clash of cultures with the, uh, the literally. <laughs> I always find that funny in this game. So basically, um, we just need to follow Neela. That's it. So, the farther away you get from Neela, the slower she'll go. And the closer you get, the faster she gets. So, you know. But the good thing is, you don't actually need to follow her exact movements. As long as you're in the general area, you should be alright. But if you wander off from her, she will stand still. And I think after a period of like 10 seconds or something like that, she will get bored. And you'll fail the mission after start all over again. But for the most part, it's actually better just to let her just run around. And then just stay on the rooftop, but of course, stay in the general vicinity until she starts moving, and then just move with her. When I knew about this, I knew this about four years into playing the game, and I just thought, why? Because I used to struggle with this bit, you know? I used to struggle big style, like, you know, jumping up and climbing things and everything. I thought you had to follow her from behind, but. Uh, apparently you don't, as long as you're within the general facility and as we, as long as you have her in sight, you, you're golden. I mean, at this, this part, you have to jump off on the rooftop. But then you got the fucking rats you have to watch out for and everything, really. Let's see if we can beat Neela there. <laughs> would be a uh... well done sly we should work well together glad you approve now legally i can't enter dimitri's nightclub without a warrant but i happen to have obtained a key to his back door which a person like yourself can use however he pleases oh we are absolutely going to work well together yes we are <laughs> I don't know. Fucking blurred lines between crime and law. Yep. Go. Uh, is that better? No, it's better loop. Uh, sorry, it's not a better loop. So, yeah, so after doing that job, we need to, um... I'm about to say if I change the Bentley, but we are going to do Murray's job first. I like to save Bentley's, um... I like to save um, Bentley's job for last, actually. And yes, that rat has a stick of dynamite. That's what I meant to address earlier when I effed up at the beginning. Oh, this guy's got some loot. Oh, these two have some loot. Oh, sweet. Come on. 
we got? Super calm. 79 gold, I think that is. You know, but I'm right now. I'm right with that 79 gold now. <laughs> I am such a nerd. Gold ring. Gold ring. Gold ring. 92, I think it is. Just so remember that. 79.92. See if I'm right now. If I'm right, then I'm a then I should have been an appraiser. <laughs> I love that uh, bass slide. Alright. Let's have a look. <laughs> I got the last digit right. <laughs> Don't you fucking say a thing. <laughs> Alright, well, let's uh let's play some Maria, shall we? So we need to silence the alarms now. We're okay for the flash that gotcha. Alright. Oh, okay. More. Oh yeah, I can demonstrate the uh, Fists of Flame though, can't I? Actually, do I want L1? Yeah, I do uh, Fists of Flames in L1. So, by pressing L1, you get Maurice Fists of Flames. And it doesn't matter the size of the guard or who it is. Yep. Just one punch. One Punch Man. I need to watch that anime. It's supposed to be a good one. Okay, time to silence the alarms. So yeah, so uh, let me know how you enjoying the playthrough up tonight. That's, uh, that's one thing I'd like to know because um, it's a different change of videos. It really is a different change of videos. It means a little. It means a little bit more work for me. Okay, I think so. No, we're not. No, we're not. That's all. This should have been thinking of. Jeez, where the hell are these cards coming from? Oh, there we go. Ah, the first punch must have hit a um, an object. Okay, makes sense. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, it means a lot more work for me, but hopefully, uh, hopefully you join them. Anyway. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. So, same as the Aqua Pump mission, just gotta pick things up and destroy them. However, the minute this one gets hit, guards are gonna start coming. So, really, just destroy them and you're good. Ah, bastard. And there's a shakes on a slowdown. Come on, come to Murray. There we go. See, that's the thing about slow um, emulators. You'll never... Well, as far as I'm aware, it's never happened to me. But you never get emulator crashes. The worst you'll get is slowdowns, and even then, the slowdowns are temporary, I would say. Yeah, temporary. Good English. Especially when I'm living in a country that's came up with a language. Alright, let's get to the second one now. Alright, so we haven't got the convenience of things though, so we need to uh, throw some papers at it. Fucking big issue, motherfucker. <laughs> get to where get you! Come on. 
page. <laughs> All right, let's get something destroyed now. <laughs> oh God, headlines at six. Fucking French rat gets a newspaper to the face. <laughs> <laughs> fucking read all about it. <laughs> oh god. Alright, the last one's uh, by the uh, big gate that you had to jump to uh, get to the, the light club. Alright. Slam him to the ground. Do you know, I've yet. Um, I was going to make a, um, you know, a slam and jam reference, you know, um, fucking space jam. That's it, slam and jam, space jam. Um, I've not watched the um, the. I've not watched the, uh, the 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 rebooted version that came out the other year or last year. I think it was some like that. I believe it's um, is it LeBron James? Is it? Can't remember. But uh, apparently I heard that one's um I've gone the wrong way. Too busy gassing. Um I heard that one's not too bad. But the original I love the original Space Jam. Michael Jordan. What was it? Was it eighty six was it eighty seven or ninety seven? One or two. Right, this should be it. No mind. Obviously, one more hit. There we go. Job done. Mm -hmm. Right, now we need to get back to the safe house now. I can't wait to get um, Murray's second gadget in um, episode two, which you can buy from the store. That, I think, has to be my favorite gadget for Murray. Just because it gives him a little bit more flexibility in terms of his movement. In fact, I think episode two should be. Just try to think, because I'm doing the. I'm doing this series of jobs this episode. I'll be doing the heist in the next one. So yeah, part six. So yeah, so that's kind of like the format, really. Nah, no, we won't be long. I think you could pretty much complete slide two within... I'm going to say you probably complete it in about a day, I think. About eight hours? No, I don't think it's that long. Probably like five hours, I think it is. Hmm. Right, anyway, now we get to play as Bentley. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but every time you play as uh, Murray or Bentley for the first time, there's no flashlight guards, it's just these smaller guards, as you see here. So, might as well show you um, how many hits it takes for Bentley to kill a guard. Take some loads. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, Bentley is not a, uh, a combat. He's not a combat guy. He's not. <laughs> Fucking crossbow. So yeah, um, I'm not going to go over what abilities uh, Bentley has yet, because in this mission it will be explained. But basically, this is Trigger Bomb. So you just throw a bomb and it does not explode. It only explodes when you press the uh, the detonation button. And also when you throw it, once you run a certain distance, it explodes automatically. But I'm not going to go any of his special abilities or anything just yet. We'll do that when he gets into his mission, but we need to get to the nightclub now. Now you could go by the water tower and at the same time you could go around the side of it to get there, but I just prefer going this way actually. This is always the it's always the way I've went when I got to nightclub. But I think this is my favourite mission 
in the um, in this episode. I love this bit. I love this bit for a couple of reasons. All right, anyway, let's go do disco demolitions. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet. You'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out of the way before it explodes. So, yep, Bentley is the demolitions expert of the group. Basically, triangle, drop a bomb. Don't get caught in the blast radius. It does half your health, and trust me, it's a powerful fucking thing. Good job. Now, use your sleep darts to get by the guard. Press the R3 button. You know, click the right analog stick. To bring up your binocular, and then tap the R1 button to fire a dart. He's out. Drop a bomb on him while he's down to keep him that way. I fucking love Bentley. Honestly, how fucking dastardly is that? <laughs> I love it. Right now, this time for real. Hey Bentley. How are you holding up out there in the field? Fine. Fine. I'm just fine. I just need to bomb all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front and peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. Yep. So that's the jets for who's got to destroy these four pillars. I love this. Also, there's a little bit of an Easter egg here. So this is the um, just the base disco theme OST, original soundtrack. However, if we come over to here, I'm not get burnt. Back one of these. Bring and let me shine you. Get a remix. So yeah, just bring to repeat. Put them to sleep. Then put them to sleep. <laughs> Let's dance. Get it. Get it. Get static. Right. Is it? I love the reach, right? <laughs> So, so spicy! Oh, and you're Nelly boy. Who's <laughs> Who's got the juice? <laughs> do you know if Sly ever do? You know, right? I know this the, uh, the Sly movie. I've not seen it being advertised anymore, but I swear to God, see if they get fucking Dimitri in here. We need Sasha. Oh, what's it called? No, the guy that did Borat. We need him as Dimitri. Honestly, that's always been my fucking dream. Good is this sweet. <laughs> oh. Alright, that's enough dancing. <laughs> now, I've always wondered if it's possible to uh, get over there. Luckily enough, you can come back to this area with Sly and others later on in the game. But apart from that, that's the uh, still in the job. Half of his bolts pop off on impact. 
Now you know why that is my favourite mission of this episode. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, fellas. The dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up, then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here! So yeah, so now that we've done all the jobs, next is time for the heist. Which, unfortunately, is going to be in the next episode. Anyway. Yeah, uh, we know Dimitri. Alright, so yeah, so we're going to be doing the uh, the rest of the episode, the finale, the heist, Operation Underbeat Drop, was it called? Or am I thinking something else? I, I won't really pay attention. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links to Twitter and Discord in the description as usual. But from that, you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Take care.